Okay, today I have for you round one of COMC Black Friday. I did about $50, I think, or it turned out to be 50 cards, something like $50 it worked out to. COMC Black Friday. I also did a smaller order on COMC Cyber Monday. Some of the cards were more and some of the cards were cheaper. So I have a lot of everything in this box, but we'll start off with two cards that are not from COMC. And these are... Uh, from eBay, they were a couple, but they were less than two dollars a piece. It worked out to something like three or even less than that. And these are Channel 12's Rod Luck pitcher, so that's really pretty neat. Uh, there's some sort of promotion for him. I think he was a sportscaster. I'm not sure if he's still doing that or not. When these were from, but I really enjoy collecting, uh, you know, tops uh, card spoofs. These look like the '77 tops, and then there's the backs of them. I've seen these cards anywhere from what I paid on up to you know twenty dollars or something ridiculous there's another one of him uh, Rod Luck in a uh, uniform uh, what do you call it uh, a catcher's mask or a referee's uniform or something like that umpire I think he's an umpire I'm not really sure maybe the catcher so I'm looking out for that one but I'm not gonna pay seventeen bucks for that one so that was a really fun pickup CMC is now using the scan code here so it doesn't have the nice little sheet detailing everything for you so you don't have a decent phone to look at up at the moment then you can't use that so that's waste to me but I will remember pretty much what we have here so let's just get into this back and I rarely ever get a box but I got a box so that's cool and um, they always package with some extra uh, stuff on the ends here so we'll start off with this little packet here and I, w and I can't tell you the prices, but they were cheap. So, oops, this one's falling out of the holder here. This is Carlos Paula, 1955 tops. I'm sorry, I'm going to bring the camera down here, and that will work hopefully a little bit better. Carlos Paula, 55 tops. I imagine that was about 50 cents. I think I spent the most 80, 80 odd cents for, for 55 tops, and the back is pretty clean there. Uh, this is what, a 53 tops? This is Johnny Schmitz of the Washington Senators. So I thought that was a really awesome card to have. There's no creases in very many of these cards that I got. You know, no major rips, tears, or stains. A little paper loss in the corner there, but this was probably less than a dollar. I might it was maybe a dollar at the most. So that was neat to have that one. And then we'll go into let's see, what do we want to go into? We'll go into this one here. This packet here. So they packaged some very, they put a lot of top loaders, gave me lots of top loaders. This is Downton Abbey, and if you look these minis up on eBay, they're fairly expensive, um, usually from the UK. This was a 50, or uh, sorry, 40 cents for this one, little mini card here. I just grabbed some random ones. Uh, the day after, uh, the Black, or the COMC um, Cyber Monday, these were up to 55 cents, well, an extra 50. Um, some of these are not in the holders very well. This is Hassan, uh, 1910, um, I forget, uh, T, T something, T218, I don't remember the, the designation. Uh, this is uh, H.E. Dissing, um, so that's really pretty cool. It, it's really hard to show you these with the glare on these holders here. Nothing really amazing condition. The most I paid for these were just over $2. $2.25 I think is the most I paid for these. They usually sell for between 4 and 6 um, This one here is Paul Pilgrim. And that's in really awesome condition, I thought, in the same set. Uh, this one is the Mecca. The first one you saw was Hassan. This one here is another Downton Abbey card here. And I don't know who this is. Um, Mr. Carson. Um, why they put these in, in little uh, top loaders uh, with a... Don't know, but maybe they were just had lots of supplies laying around. This is Daisy Spees and Walter Junk. I don't know. Um, but this was a uh, dollar, uh, some German dancing card, and it looks like he was dressed as a jockey with uh, the horseshoe on his. So who knows? Really weird, weird card. There were tons of these. Usually they were four dollars and marked down to a buck or something like that. eBay, the prices are all over th these things if you can even find them. So that's really kind of a neat card there. And we'll get into the last packet, and then we'll get into the the big packet, the last small packet. Uh, with sleeved sleeved cards. Uh, so we have Dvorak from 1912 Wills Cigarettes. As I mentioned in the previous video, I have the reprint set of some of these. This is, I believe, Series 1. Then I have St. Saiyans. 
um, card number 24. I'll show you the back of these. Um, they're not as bright as the reproductions. And there's the Will's cigarettes. Um, I don't know what these usually go for, but I saved, um, I don't know, probably a dollar each on these, maybe. This one has a huge crease in it right there, but that's okay for this set. And I think this one was just a random one I grabbed from Series 2. It's a sadly creased right here, um, but um, it was a buck twenty-five, and I wasn't going to spend any more. Series 2 seems to be the more expensive set, or the... And then here's another Downton Abbey card. I just grabbed some random ones just to add to my collection because hopefully they will fit in my BCW pages. Uh, now we'll open up this huge packet. The trifecta of... I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'll go through these pretty quickly. Andre Agassi Net Pro Elite. This was numbered at, uh, 1 of 2,000. That was probably like a dollar, maybe two dollars, but not much more than that. Del Crandall was nothing. It was probably under a dollar, like 50 or 60 cents for this. Really awesome condition for Del Crandall. Um, this is um, Lou, Captain Lou Albano, uh, dressed as Santa Claus from the 80's um, WWF set, so that was really cool to get. That was probably 60 cents. I'm just guessing here. This is numbered to 500. Tom Kite. Great. That was 50 cents, I believe, for that card. Then we had this uh, season eighteen, season sixteen Doctor Who card, and oh, good for a second there. It's numbered to one ninety nine in the corner there, and this was probably fifty cents, maybe a dollar at the most. Um, again, I'm not going to pay much for those. I wanted this card ever since I was a kid. There's a de quite damaged corner here, but I do not care. This was a dollar sixty-five or dollar sixty-nine for this number one Hank Aaron card. I just wanted a relatively three decent copy. Corner bother wear does not bother me. So finally, I have the first 1974 Topps card set. Tent card. This is a, was an expensive card. This was a dollar sixty-nine. Michigan Sanco trading cards. Michigan State Police. Uh, my grandma had a car very similar to that, if not identical, uh, Delta 88 uh, Oldsmobile type car. It does not say what kind of car these are on the back of it, unfortunately. It just talks about the Michigan State Police, and that's about all. But I wish they would tell about the car. But yeah, those were popular cars. News flashbacks, uh, Earth Day Festival festivities, there. Ernie Schlegel for TTM. Uh, shout out to... Um, Oh, I can't think of his name. Andy Summers, who does all of the, the bowling. Beatles flashback. That was 40 cents or something for that one. Uh, this is Smythe Northridge. Uh, Mecca cigarettes, so that's cool. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr., National Baseball Card Day. Um, that was uh, 45 cents or something for a Vlad rookie card. Um, I bought all of these ones that were a dollar a piece. I finally got these uh, for the price I wanted. This is Cody Campbell Writer Relics for a set I'm building of the of the uh, PBR Tour, um, Professional Bull Riding. We have uh, Mike White, who's a famous uh, bull rider. These guys are all retired now, I think. Gosh, Josh Koschkel, if I had an extra one of these, it did not matter. There's their uh, shirt relic right there. And then I got Austin Dustin Elliott, so that's cool there. Then I have uh, R.P. Williams from Hassan cigarettes right there and from the 1910 set they were really cool to get those I got a bunch of these strike force cards strike force this is women's pro bowling cards from little son if you've ever seen them I'd be shocked if you've ever seen these uh, these people in their 50s and 60s now this one is a woman is bowling with some sort of cast I look for people that I might be able to write to Melissa Bo Marlis Bohr Donna Adam De some of these are in the women's Hall of Fame, Pro Bowling Hall of Fame, or or in their state Hall of Fame, um, but I can't find much on them um, outside of probably a Star Tiger or something. World Series Champions, and it's from a Heritage set because I need a card number one. This is not one Eichelberger or Eichelberger. This is Gary Lucas, and so I finally got the Gary Lucas wrong photo one Eichelberger, uh, and it's got Juan's uh, stuff on the back there. So it's technically a wand card with Gary Lucas on it. I did not have that from my 82 set. This one here is Harry Jensen. I didn't remember grabbing this one. And I'm glad I didn't grab another one on Cyber Monday. Uh, the reason why this was supposedly in poor condition is because there's some stamps on the back of it. 
And this one is stamped October 2nd, 1911. So I just thought that was historical in itself, and I thought it was really cool to have that, and that's pretty neat for this Hassan. And that was really awesome to have that. The front is great. On uh, news flashbacks, so there's another one of those. I got Greg Jeffries on the Tidewater Tides. Wanted that forever. Oh, I didn't know it existed. Uh, we have uh, Ryan O'Toole. I'm not sure if I have this one, but it doesn't matter because it was three and a half dollars. The next uh, cheapest one was twenty-five dollars. This is numbered at a one ninety-nine autographed uh, golf card there. Oops, with a mem mem there of some kind. And again, I don't think I had this Austin Ernst. This is numbered seven out of one hundred, and I don't think I had that one there. I'm not sure if they're still golfing much, but um, these are both from like 2014. Ridiculous! If somebody would ever get a license for some golf cards, tops or upper deck or whoever, Panini. Uh, this is Anne Sophie Mutler. I'm sorry, Mutler Mutter, violinist, and this is Deutsche Gramophone All Stars. I've never seen those before. These were like a dollar sixty-nine, normally two something or whatever, or three. I don't remember. And so I just bought one of those. I thought that was fun. Then I got Itzhak Perlman, who was on um, Mr. Rogers one or two times. We also have uh, Matt Bohan. This is number 20 out of 99, right there. That's really neat. We have Rob Gardner. It looks like they kind of screwed up the corner when they got it in the holder. We'll take it out of the holder. It looks like they dinged it. COMC or whoever. That's okay. Rob Gardner. It's a really a very good condition. A little off center. Um, this is a original buyback of some kind. Um, for 73 tops, and I did not have that card. I don't know if he signs, but I just wanted that one. Uh, we have uh, the 84 collection, Stuart Gary Lucas. I know Carter's probably got the uh, Gary Carter of this one. We have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Home Run Derby. This is probably, again, 45 cents or something ridiculous. Then this one zoomed up in price after I got this one. Uh, General Moon from Die Another Day, and this is Kenneth Sang. Kind of like uh, the Sang uh, uh, sauce or whatever it is, hot sauce. I think it was Sang that made some sort of spicy sauce. Um, but that's really cool. This guy's been in everything. This is really neat to have that one. And then this one here um, has a little label on the back of it. I don't know why. Um, it's got this. This little scanned thing here. And I'm not sure why that was in there uh, for Gary Lucas. Um, but this is Rediscover Tops here. So that's pretty neat. Rediscover Tops. I did not have that one for my Gary Lucas binder. And I believe that is everything you see there from COMC. Hope I didn't take too long to do that. That was really amazing. I do have another... Oh. Ha! Huh. Rediscover Tops. Gary Lucas with gum stain. Um, so anyway, that was really awesome to have this. I've got binders for darn near all of this stuff. That's why I try to get things that fit in collections and binders or for autograph requests. So really awesome COMC Black Friday. Hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.